Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer 44. So today we'll be predicting the 2023 Gold Cup quarterfinal prediction. So I want to know your predictions in the comments below, guys. And yeah, like I said, guys, we can hear on Gold Cup coverage. By the way, guys, just so you guys know, there will not be a live stream on Sunday to recap the quarterfinals because I'll be getting. I will not be home by the time we do this, and by the time I get back home, it will be past like. 1 a.m. or so so it'll be too too late so what i'll probably do is do a stream on monday the game the following the day so july 10th and i'll probably do it around maybe at 6 p.m eastern time we'll discuss about the games we'll discuss about the quarter following reactions and you know i'll try to watch all the highlights i possibly can because i probably won't be able to watch all the games unfortunately just because i have somewhere planned to go on sunday anyways without further ado let's go ahead and start with the first match we, which we have here is guatemala Guatemala versus Jamaica. I got to give a shout out to Guatemala. They were fantastic in the group. They were amazing. You know, the fact that they topped a group that many of us didn't even expect them to. And considering the final match day, they were in third place and they needed to win on the final game, especially coming from behind. You have to give them a massive credit for that, especially playing against Guadalupe that were really, really impressive against Canada and obviously destroy Cuba, right? See, my issue with Guatemala is this. Um, their their attack is where I have concerns with them, right? And this is where I think Jamaica could hurt them, right? Because Jamaica have the clinical um, clinical players like Leon Bailey, Michael Antonio, Demari Gray. Now my concern with Jamaica though is that I haven't, I don't think they have been as challenged as much as uh, Guatemala have. You know, so it's a very tricky, tricky matchup to call. And this one is definitely interesting. And in my opinion, this is. If there is an upset to happen, I would say this is probably the most likely. So if any, if you think an upset could very well happen, I would probably put your money on this one. It's a very difficult match to call. I could see either team winning. Something tells me that we're going to see an upset. I have a st feeling that we're going to see an upset. And usually upset happens in every knockout stage. Usually that's how the trend goes. And I have a feeling that Guatemala could actually knock Jamaica out. You know, And considering Jamaica, like I said, haven't really been that impressive... And the Gold Cup, and especially for how they did against the United States, which, in my opinion, they should have won against us, considering the amount of chances they had, I think Guatemala can honestly do this. I give them a better chance to win. It's going to be close, though. Very, very tight. I think it's going to be a very, very narrow win. I'm going to say 1-0 win for Guatemala. Okay? Next up is Mexico versus Costa Rica. Mexico, obviously, what they've done has been incredible. They've probably been one of the best teams in the Gold Cup thus far, even with the loss to Qatar. And keep in mind, guys, that game Qatar game didn't really mean much for them. They had already basically um, assured, they basically, met the, they basically topped the group 99%. You know, it would be a miracle if they didn't, you know, and they'd already qualified. Costa Rica, on the other hand, I haven't been as impressed. You know, Costa Rica, they did smash up on Martinique. Credit to them, though, they, they don't look that great. You know, and my issue with Costa Rica is that, yes, you're going to get Mexico a close game. And you look at the race, recent head-to-head -head meetings and competitive games, it's always been close. You know, Mexico I've always won, though. You know, and that's where I think Costa Rica have my issue is that they just don't have any bite in the attack. You know, and that's my problem for them is that you can be defensive all you want, but it ain't going to ensure you goals. You know, and that's why I feel like Mexico, for me, the firepower they have in the attack, you know, like Henry Martin. Um, then obviously you got Santiago Jimenez. You know, Edson Alvarez is still there. I feel like Mexico's attack is still generally good enough, even though they haven't been great in general. I would still favor Mexico to beat Costa Rica. Next up is United States versus Canada, guys. This is a big, big matchup for the United States. Obviously, Canada's looking to get revenge. And for the United States in particular, I just think that for me, we've been great. We've been great in the Gold Cup thus far. I think we've been fantastic. Um, like I said, though, with Jamaica earlier, I don't think we have been as challenged. Now, for the United States for this game, I think what's going to be very, very important is that we play in the front foot. Because I imagine Canada will not be naive this time. I think Canada should be playing a low block against us, and which I do expect they will. And I think for Canada, the thing is they have to be smart with their tactics. They shouldn't play gun-to-gun -gun possession base. Because if they do, the United States will definitely win. You know, And the thing with Canada is that can they be clinical with the chances they have in front of goal? Because that's been kind of a problem for them in the Gold Cup thus far. Is that Even though they did smash them on Cuba, it's Cuba, guys. Cuba have been awful this tournament. So they haven't really been that clinical in front of goal, which is my concern with Canada is that they don't have that kind of firepower in the attack. And this this Canada team, I haven't been as pressed. They haven't really been that impressive to me in the Gold Cup. They've really struggled. They barely made it through at the group stage. And even though they went unbeaten, I still think there's larger issues with Canada, you know, you know, especially in the attack in particular. So it's going to be a very, very interesting matchup. I think for me, players have to be very, very important. I think Zendaya has to perform in this kind of game because he's been terrible so far. Then obviously, John Lucabusio, I think, could be important. I don't think Ferrer will have a good game. 
and I have a feeling maybe Vasquez coming off the bench could do something for us, you know? And I think for um, um, BJ Caligon, he has to get his tactics right. Maybe play Ferreira in a cam position rather than a striker because we're going to probably have to whip in a lot of crosses to beat Canada as I would expect them to be very defensive. So regardless, though, I do expect United States to eventually win some way or another. And I just feel like for me, United States will find a way to win either that be in extra time or in regular time. I don't see this going to penalties. And then finally, the last match we have here is Panama versus Qatar. Panama versus Qatar. Qatar, for me, have been dreadful. They have been absolutely dreadful in the group stage. Yes, I know they made it through on the group stage. If you look at the games they have played, they have been terrible. You know, they've been conceding late-minute goals and their games against Honduras and obviously um, 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 Haiti, respectively. And it's just that Mexico, yes, they they played they got the win over Mexico. If you look at the stats and look at the game, you realize that Mexico should have won that game, or at the very least drawn the game. You know, and that would have effectively knocked Qatar out. My issue with Qatar is that they're they're so defensive. It seems like for me, whenever they want to, whenever they score, they're gonna try to park the bus, and I think that's not worked. And you know, and especially in a knockout stage, it's gonna backfire. So I feel like for me, Panama have done a great job in this tournament. They've been fantastic. They they you know they top the group in comfortable fashion. And I just feel like for me, for Panama, they look great. You know, and Thomas Christensen has done a great job with this team. And I think this team is playing some great free-flowing attacking football. So those are my quarterfinal predictions, guys. I want to know your quarterfinal predictions in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. And tell me in the comments below, guys, any other big matching things, matching any other big talking points I should have mentioned in the video. Please feel free to do that. I appreciate all your comments. Like I said, guys, I take the time to read all your comments, guys. So please remember also become a member of the channel. For only 99 cents per month to get access to members' videos and member streams. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.